fighthight.com here with one of the greatest fighters of our era, the Filipino Flash, the five division champion from the Bay, my man Nonito Donaire. Uh, first of all, Nonito, good to see you, man, after that Ino Uwe rematch. Uh, what, what are your thoughts, you know, after that fight and, and how's it feel to be back home and everything? I mean, it's good to be back home, man. And then, you know, I'm always the type of person that's always ticking. How can I get better? How can I get better? What did I do that it happened that way? So. I was able to kind of figure out, and I'm very, very excited for the next one because I got something new to put together. Was, was that fight about Ina Uwe going to another level, or, or did you not feel 100% in that fight? Or? I mean, there's a lot that went on behind the scene, but um, you know, that's 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 my story to tell, you know. But Ina Uwe did a great job, and I'll leave it at that. Right. <laughs> yeah. well, who do you want next, then, Ina? Well, I want to get I want to get back into it to, to stay in line for another shot. That's it. <laughs> what, what about a Casemiro fight after all? You know, um, right now we're just building up. We we do have we do have a um, a a super bantamweight a super a super flyweight opportunity. You know, to get the official fifth division. Right, right. Um, but yeah, the 118, 122. But 118 right now is one, one thing I'm building up to get back into line. You know. But you're thinking of 15. Well, there's a possibility of that, you know. Again, to make it official that I am the fifth, five division. Right, right. Yeah. Wait, what? Chocolatito? Co yeah, Chocolatito and Mistrado. That, you know, those are those are the guys that I really am focused on because I think those are, 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 are great fights and, and fights that, that happen along with me, you know, the, the guys that, that, that came up with me. Right. You know? it, it sounds like it's that you want to you want to go out on your terms. Not, always. Yeah. It's always my terms, always my, vo my voice, my choice. You know, it's always going to be how it is. You know, at this moment in time, I got. I feel like I'm still healthy and I'm great. That nothing really happened after that fight. I can talk. I can. I can think. I can do anything. You know, and and, and I'm 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 inspired and I'm focused all over again. So I'm back, man. Like I just got to go in there and and uh, and, and keep showing. All right. Um, and, and I gotta ask, man, because you've given us some of the best breakdowns over these last couple of years. Joshua Usek too. Uh, does Joshua turn the tables, or is it Usek again? Well, the, this is the thing: was on the first fight, I called Usek. Second fight, now that he's training with uh, with Robert, and Robert's a brother of mine, you know, I always support him and his fighters. And I know that his style of training, which is to uh, to brawl, to push. To utilize that weight, I think is the biggest key for Joshua. And if he can do that, you know, where where Usyk can't can't utilize his speed, his distance, where there is no more power for him, and Joshua can bully him that way. I think that that's the biggest component of winning this fight uh, for for Joshua. Um, what do you gotta do when a guy like Usyk, good movement, feints, and you know, obviously you can't just walk forward and. and what do you gotta do to be effective aggression? Well, using the jab, right? Not using the jab back, but using the jab forward and, and coming in with your body. Because when you're going like this and you're coming in, guess what? You're smothering the punches, you know? And then from that point on, you can use your shoulder, you can use your arm, come up with a straight or come up with an uppercut. There's a lot of things that he can do inside that will uh, take advantage of, 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 of uh, his style and his body. You know, that's, that's pretty much it. He's never, he, in the last fight, he didn't utilize his body. He didn't utilize his range. He didn't utilize his, his, uh, his, his, um, his mass. Right, right. You know? Because he, right, you're bigger size, bigger everything. Yeah. Bigger reach, too. Right. Would, right. Well, you think that's a good mix. So, Robert, with kind of that front foot, Mexican, Mexican-American style, that's what Joshua needs. I think so. Place. I yeah. think so, because you can't box a guy who's, who's faster than you. You can't box a guy... Who, who, when you throw a jab, he's under you, he's, he's going this way. If you're coming in, you throw a jab and he slips, he comes in. When you step forward, guess what? Your body's together. You know, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's easy to say it outside of the ring, but utilizing it inside of the ring, you know, I think he did a great job the first time. He just looks like did an amazing job. If, if you had to put money on it, do you think he will turn tables or come up short? Well, it, knowing Robert and the way he thinks inside that ring, I think that I would go with, with, with Joshua this time because of the fact that um, if Usyk does get underneath and, and, and if, if, um, if Joshua utilizes his, his strength, his power, his body, his mass, his size, I think um, it's, a, it's a tougher fight for Usyk. Sounds like you, you still think really highly of Robert as a trainer. He's an amazing trainer. I, that's one of the guys that, that, uh, that you know, friend a brother forever you know me and him 
we always support each other. Because some people are like, oh, you fell in love with your left hook with Robert. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's always a matter of, of the thing people don't understand is you can have the best trainer in the world, but if the fighter don't listen, the fighters, the fight is always going to go along the way. You're taking up for that. You're exactly. like, that was me. I'm hard-headed. Hey, if I had a left hook like you too, that, I, I'd yeah. want to throw it.